championship season is well underway. We are in October and things are going okay. But today, today is a big day. Today is the return of a club legend. He was only here for a season and he made himself a club legend in that year. To me anyway, not particularly on the game. Oliver Batista Meyer lines up against us today. Welcome to In the Saddle. Oh, this is going to be really, really hard. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to In The Saddle. And like I said to you in the intro, Oliver Batista Meyer will be lining up against us. We've got Cardiff away, we've got Fulham away, still no Leicester, I'll explain it. Let's go through how we've been getting on first. First of all, I've got to say we're in 12th position. After 13 games, 12th position. I'm happy with that. Since that 1-0 win over Derby, though, one of the best results of the season, that for me. A really, really great result. We were slumped back down to earth a little bit. A 2-0 loss away to Portsmouth. We went a goal down. Luis Fiorini with a, a really good goal. Rhys Williams then got himself sent off. And from there, it was an upward battle. We were never really looking like getting back into it. Bryn Mulvaney, a 6.4 as well. Not great. And Pavel Sabiki made it 2-0. We, we didn't look like getting into the game at all. And we lost the game. So... That's unfortunate. However, a pretty good result here at home. Crystal Palace, uh, who I think are a very good team on this. They're actually struggling a little bit this year and we've maybe taken advantage of that. But a nil-nil draw. Defensively, we were solid. We didn't quite have enough going forward. Bring Mulvaney a disappointing performance again. Um, but a good point, I think, against a pretty big team in the league. However... A 2-1 loss to Bristol City was disappointing. Again, though, they are a really good team in this. Um, relegate from the Premier League last year. We did lead Kiana Hueva with a stunning free kick, but two in two minutes from Troy Parrott, who, as football manager players know, turns on to be a very... He's worth £52 million in the Championship. That is ridiculous. However, we then hosted a Welsh team in Swansea, and beat them. Liam Delap, who got the start. Um, no Bryn Mulvaney in that one. And Liam Delap proved me correct. Getting a goal. He had a super volley disallowed as well. So a good game from Delap. And defensively, we were solid again to hold on to a very good win. If we look at our good results this season, the big part of it is that we we're able to keep clean sheets or at least keep down the goals that we're conceding. A 1-0 win there. 0-0. 1-0. 1-0. Just one goal conceded. 4-0. 2-1, nil, nil. We're not conceding many goals this year. Hopefully that'll continue today. Two big away games. Cardiff, who are having a good season, sat in third. And then Fulham, who are just below them in fourth. So two very difficult games. But we'll see how we get on. I did plan to bring you Leicester, but that was postponed again. We will get Leicester at some point in the season. Maybe in the next episode, but it depends if it gets postponed again and again and again and again and again. The team then for this one looks a little bit different than usual, you would say. Kelleher will be in goal. He's having a good year, actually, uh, Kelleher. He's, he's doing really well. Seven clean sheets in 13. Like I say, we're not conceding many goals. Only eight goals conceded is really, really good. Hopefully he doesn't concede today. I'm not confident on that. The back three then will be Reese Williams, Kremier Das and Cardoso. They've sort of made themselves the back three that have done well this year. Reese Williams comes back in. Not quite fit Lucas Baja, who's on international duty. He did play last time and played well but Lucas Baja is out. Another man not quite fit is Kiana Hueva. Um, yeah, usually our first choice right wing back. Out for five days to three weeks. So Niall Mason comes in. It will be Joel Lopez on the left back position. Zambarek will be joined by Onyango today a ball winning midfielder we're going to stick in there today Matty Longstaff is suspended though so I think on Yango it might do well in there as a ball winning midfielder it might not work but against a good team like Cardiff I quite like the idea of having a little bit more defensive stability in the midfield in front of that then Dylan Levitt who again I, I feel like I say this a lot he's having a good year not anywhere near the levels he's had for us before but a 6.99 rating he creates chances for us and if he plays well, we play well. It will be uh, Bell playing today. Jacob Bell, deep line forward. Hasn't really done that well for us, to be honest with you. Just the one goal in nine. Um, but I think he offers a lot off the ball. 
um, and he creates well. So I'm going to give him another opportunity today um, alongside Liam Delap, who will be playing in the poacher position. We are going to play Bryn Mulvaney on the bench. I originally wanted to play Mulvaney and Delap together today, but Mulvaney's come back from international duty not quite fit enough. So that's where we're going. That's the team. The ice cream truck is still going on. Let's get to kick off. Cardiff are not playing Oliver Batista Ma. They are playing this guy, uh, Sergio Mikalstov. He was uh, a free agent in the summer from Man United. I looked at him a few times and then decided I wasn't going to play wingers, so I didn't sign him. As you can see, I scouted him. He's a good player, very good player. But where is Oliver Batista Ma? Has he now got injured on the international break? Yes, he has. Oh, Oliver. Oliver, until we meet again. It's a massive shame in terms of the video, but actually probably not as a manager. So hope, I'm glad we're not seeing him. They've got this guy, Oliver Thompson, a Danish central midfielder. He's pretty good in the position up front. Will be John Jules, Tyrese John Jules. I think he's a real player, sort of in the Arsenal Academy at the moment. Had an okay year. He's having a good year this time though, 11 in 14. We are going to have to try and stop him. I don't know what to expect today. I'm going to say we're the underdog. That suits us. Let's play to that. Um, and we are playing this cautious formation that has suited us in a lot of big games this year. We saw it last episode against Derby. I'm hoping for a similar type of performance. Quiet, keeping them quiet, getting a goal on the break. With Bryn Mulvaney on the bench, though, it may decrease our chances. 20 minutes gone, not, not a chance, to be honest with you, but... If you look at the player ratings, things are pretty good. We're slightly edging it on the player ratings over them, but not a lot is happening. Jan Zambarek seemingly the best player on the pitch um, in an attacking position. Thompson's gone off injured for them. They've brought on Villalba, who I think is a real player. We'll have a look at him quickly because not a lot's happening. Fran Villalba, Arsenal, I want to say. Maybe not. Valencia he was at Blackburn in game and had a couple of good years. So he's, he's the backup. So that's a good sign for us. But there is not a lot happening. Here we go. Cardiff with the first chance of the game. Um, and it will be them bringing it forward. For us, we've got to try and win it. We haven't won it there. And of course, that man there scores against me. Sergio Mikalsov. I did really think about bringing him in. Decided not to play wingers. And he kind of said, well, f*** you, mate. I'll bleep that. I'll have to bleep that. But you get, you get what I mean. Disappointing in one way. We're not... Playing fantastically, and now we've got to try and force a way into the game. Maybe, though, a goal here could change everything. Williams has gone back to Kelaha, and for us, it's important to get Zambarek and Lever on the ball and in the game. That's a good ball wide from Cardo, so Lopez might be able to find a cross here. If we'd have found it straight away, we were in. We still might be. It's a penalty. That's big. Uh, Dylan Levitt looks like the best penalty taker, which isn't fantastic. I'm actually going to let Jacob Bell take it. 13 finishing sort of goes against it. I'm hoping, and Jacob Bell will step up for Warsaw. Hopefully, I'm not wrong. Bell scores. Good decision. Cardiff won. Warsaw won. Jacob Bell from the spot. Dylan Levitt had a, had one more point on the penalty taking, but Bell had a better finishing. I thought it would work. It's worked today. It's not the best penalty, but the keeper was nowhere near it. Cardiff won. Warsaw won. Just before half time as well. That's exactly what you want. Good response from the boys as well. You go a goal down, you are playing a little bit more defensively. I'm going to say I'm pleased with how things are going. Keep it up. I am, to be honest. There's only been the two chances and a goal each for each side. It's very even and Cardiff are flying at the top of the league. So an even game shows how good we can be. I would say on Yango and Lopez on a 6.4 at the moment, as are Levitt and Delap. So there are options. And on 60 minutes on the clock, I'm thinking a double change. I haven't made many changes this year, but I'm thinking a double one here. Paris Magoma is going to be coming on and we'll switch it up to... Uh, well, well, we'll play him as a box to box midfielder. No, we'll play him as a Mazala would be the better option. And we are going to bring on... Bryn Mulvaney for Liam Delap, who isn't having the best of games. We'll swap them two around, play Jacob Bell in his preferred position as a deep line pla deep line forward on support, and then put Mulvaney as the advance forward. He prefers it on the left-hand side. Mulvaney is two-footed, which is interesting, but that's what seemingly worked in the past. We'll try it again today, and we've got to highlight straight away, so we'll either be punished for making changes or rewarded. That's how football manager works. We've worked it nicely on the right-hand side here. Mason will go back to Williams. The ball-playing defender, which I didn't think would suit him, but he's putting some good performances so far. That's a good ball wide. You see a lot of bookings on our team. 
I think that's where we try and tackle so eagerly to win the ball back and break that we make a little bit of a couple of silly fouls. We're working it from the back nicely here though. Wide for Lopez. Mulvaney's hunting. Um, Lopez will pull it back for... I mean, we've worked it twice. It's Mason coming in and Niall Mason has a third goal of the season and we lead in Cardiff. A massive, massive goal for us. The two fullbacks sort of working together. When it went 1-2 here, Lopez back to Levert, back to Lopez. I thought, what's happening? But Mason came steamrolling in at the back post and heads Warsaw in front. We like these big, big games, don't we? Seemingly rewarded for the two changes I made as well. Our defence are having really good games, as you can see. And usually when that happens, we play well. If you look at the stats, we are FMing them a little bit. But is it that we're FM FMing them or is our tactic working perfectly? Defend well, take your chances when you're going forward. I'm saying all this and it looks like Cardiff are coming forward. I saw L Roberts there, by the way. I'm going to have a look at this. Is that Liam Roberts? L Roberts, Luke Roberts, fine. It's not the former Walsall man. I got scared for a second. We'll let this highlight continue um, and uh, see Cardiff sort of probably come back into the game, I would guess. It is Mikalsov again. The cross was blocked. It's whipped in. Daly looked offside there and he was. Highlight again. At what point do we think about going defensive? We'll see what happens here, I suppose. They are pressing high up the pitch. We need to try and work it wide to these two options, and we have done. I pointed like you could see there, and there's no way you could. Lopez, again, a switch of the play. Magoma, I mean, it's a lovely ball, actually. And Bryn Mulvaney seemingly seals the game. We're going to go defensive straight away. Bryn Mulvaney back in the goals. I'm glad I turned the camera on because things are going really well. I thought we'd switch it here when it went into Magoma. I thought we'd go wide to Niall Mason. Instead, we went inside. Dylan Levitt, I said he creates chances. What a pass that is for Bryn Mulvaney. And Bryn Mulvaney does what Bryn Mulvaney does best. Find the back of the net. A big, big goal. And a heck of a win here. Cardiff 1, Warsaw 3. I mean, it may, it's not over. It's not over. They've got a free kick. It's going to be Kieran Dowell. It's blocked. They're going to come again, though. Villalba heads well. Heads it wide, just sends it wide. We've had four shots in the game, scored three goals. The tactic is working to perfection. Try and defend well. We've done that. Take your chances when you're going forward. We've done that. What a win that is. I said last episode, the Derby wins the best win of the season. That, that eclipses it. Leaves us after 14 games with 24 points. Sort of 50 is the mark in the championship to stay up. We're more or less halfway there and we're only in October. So that is a, it's a really good start to the season. We've won half of our games so far. That's fantastic. As always, the championship games are coming thick and fast. And we go again, Fulham at Craven Cottage. To be honest with you, there's just the two changes. Um, we'll go through it, of course. Kelleher in goal. The back three stays the same. Great performance last time. No need to change it. The two wing backs stay the same. Good performances from both. No need to change it. Sambarek, of course, starts. Um, we're going to bring back Matty Longstaff. He's, he's worth bringing in there. They've got a good partnership, really. I mean, I mean, it's not green yet, but it's pretty good. And he's sort of the best midfielder for that role. So he will play in there as the box-to-box -box midfielder. Dylan Levitt behind the strikers, which will be Bell and Mulvaney. We're going to drop Liam Delap back down to the bench. Mulvaney got off the bench, got a goal. So, yeah, it makes sense. Fulham line up with this man up front, Alexander Philip. It's a great name. Or Philp. It's Philp. It's not Philip. It's Philp. It's even better. Um, 11 finishing, though, isn't great, and he hasn't got a goal yet this season. Hopefully we can take advantage um, of the momentum we've got from that. Um, I'm going to say, I want you to pick up from last time out, because we were fan dabby dogsy. Again, the game plan is the same. Defend smartly, take your chances when you go forward. The game in the first 15 minutes is very similar to the last one. That kind of suits us down to the ground. An away point at Craven Cottage as well would be fantastic. Either way, after the result we've just got, this is kind of a freebie. Harkin whips it in. And of course, Philp scores. Of course he does. His first league goal of the season or first goal of the season, and Fulham lead. Nah. Hopefully we can hit back straight away again, though, because we did last time. Another Fulham corner. Harkin whips it in again, and done. Heads over. We need to be a little bit smarter from set pieces. Mark, a little bit better. The game is kind of in the balance. Half-time, 1-0. Quite even. They took their chance. We haven't seen a chance from us yet. I am going to say, show me something else in the second half. I want to sort of give him a bit of a kick. I mean, there's a highlight after 30 seconds. It's whipped in. I could see a penalty coming, but it wasn't. Dunn should be able to 
mop this up, you would think, for Fulham. And he's whipped it wide for Sykes. They've got a man over as well. Harkin into Thiago Govela. And he slaps it wide. Slaps it wide. Like a... Okay. Bristol City, three. Colchester, four, by the way, you see there. And Parrott has scored a hat-trick in the first half. Two goals in injury time. He is mental. Fulham have worked it out here. Kremia Das couldn't clear it. And now Enoma and have worked it wide for Drama. Drama? Drama? Jan Zambarek, though, is in there. And Bell might be able to look over the top. He doesn't quite. He's still working it forward. Picks a good pass, though. Noel Mason, can he find a cross here? Mason goes back to Longstaff. And we overworked it there. Get the ball in. Just get the ball across the pitch. And now Harkin has gone all the way and flashed it wide. I think we're going to have to try and go a little bit more positive here. Because we need to try and get ourselves that goal. Bell's on a 6.4. And there's a highlight for them. A free kick as well. We do give away a lot of free kicks. It is a bit of an issue. Harkin flashes it wide. And tactically, I'm thinking something needs to change. I think what we'll do, we will get Bell off and stick to lap on. And play him as a poacher. So two strikers right on the edge. Um, and see if just, just that's needed. We are playing more positively. This game isn't out of our reach. We just need to take one opportunity. We haven't really seen an opportunity yet. Okay, 10 minutes to go. Not a lot's happening. I think we go attacking, to be honest. I know it's against what we start with. I mean, get off my screen. But with 10 minutes to go, we're 1-0 down. We've got nothing to lose. If we lose it 2-0 now, so be it, to be honest with you. So be it. That's not a great pass. Oh, that's awful. That is awful from Lopez. That's not even a tactical thing. That is just a stupid mistake. Kelleher luckily tips it over. I don't think either way this is a bad result. They are third in the league with this victory. They are someone pushing for promotion. We won't be this year, I highly doubt. Um, so to say that we can battle with them, I think is quite good. Time is flicking through though. Lopez wants to come off. There's not a point because there is the full-time whistle. Fulham won, Walsall nil. But I don't think it's a terrible performance. I think we've done okay. A couple of the big players wasn't really involved. Mulvaney a 6.6. .6. Couldn't get involved in the game enough. I think if you get a draw from that, you'd be super happy either way. So I'm I'm all right with that. There are sometimes we have to remember that we've, we've only just got into the championship. We've only just got into the championship. We should be down here, theoretically. But we've played some fantastic football tactically at times this year. And we're doing well. So... Let's keep that in check. Again, the fact that we beat Cardiff was fantastic. So I don't mind the odd loss here and there. It was a freebie after you beat Cardiff. It was a freebie. Going forward then, I'm not sure where to come back. We'll sort of be in the middle of November so somewhere. It could be Leicester. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe Birmingham and Stoke. Maybe only play the two and come back for Birmingham and Stoke. That's a possibility too. That's it then. The end of the episode. And I can't believe we've beaten Cardiff. That was a mental result. It really, really was. The fact that we could come from behind against one of the big players in the league and get a 3-1 win at their ground shows the balls that we have as a team this year. And I am super happy with that. If you like the video, like the video. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of this. Um, and drop any comments. Set, let me know what you think of the tactic, how it's working. I know we're a bit more defensive, but I quite like it at the moment. Uh, until next time, peace.